UN-based rules should be created to battle fake news. That's the suggestion of the Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova during a session of the UN Committee on Information. Our delegation proposes the UN define the strategy for battling fake news and disinformation. Russia will be ready to fully support this initiative, which is extremely important for developing a healthy environment for news reporting. And that comes amid repeated accusations that Russia has spread fake news, supposedly to influence elections in the U.S. and now in France. However, Russia denies this and absolutely no evidence has been provided to back up that claim. RT's Caleb Maupin has more on this. This suggestion coming from Russia is quite different from some of the fact-checking initiatives we've gotten from, say, Google, Wikipedia, Facebook, and others. And it's interesting to note that some of these fact-checkers have been caught giving fake news themselves. Uh, let's take a look at some of the mistakes made by these self-appointed fact-checkers. Growing concerns tonight over cybersecurity on the American power grid after Russian hackers targeted an electric company in Vermont. Mr. Trump begins his presidency in an extraordinary split with the intelligence community, a split that only widened after they presented him with unsubstantiated oppo re research the Kremlin allegedly compiled, a file that quickly went public. I'm not going to give you a question. You are fake news. Now, the suggestion from Russia came as quite a surprise to some of Russia's critics. It seems that all the talk of fake news and the allegations regarding the spreading of disinformation have targeted Russia. Let's remember that in the aftermath of the U.S. presidential election, some very heated words were said about Russia and some very extreme allegations were made. Now these allegations have spread to Europe as the French presidential election is looming. Russia's ambitions, how Moscow is targeting other elections, this time in Europe. European populists and Donald Trump have one thing in common. They all admire Russian President Vladimir Putin. With all the allegations floating about fake news and disinformation, we'll have to see how the international community responds to Russia, Russia's suggestion.